Hi, and thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of the Ask Emily. Today, I'm just going to be answering questions all about relationships, starting with Emily, who said, How have your friendships changed in your post-college years? What did you expect and what really happened? I expected my college friends to be with me for the rest of my life. And while I definitely have some very strong friendships still from college, um, I think there's really just been a shift. I mean, having friendships in college is easy. A lot of it comes down to a convenience factor. You see people in class every day, at the dining hall, in the dorms. Um, and in real life, you don't see everyone that often. People have jobs, they're balancing a lot more responsibility. So I think for me, um, I have far less acquaintances now that I'm older, but just stronger friendships. Leslie asked, how should one react when a good friend ends up in a relationship, more specifically a marriage, with someone you cannot respect, let alone enjoy? Well, this is a tough situation, but unfortunately, it's kind of unrealistic to assume that all of your friends are going to end up with significant others that you adore. So I think the most important thing is to try to find some common ground and if that person is making your friend happy and they treat them well, it's important to make an effort because that'll mean a lot to your friend. Um, and so maybe you shouldn't do quiet evenings at home with just the two of them, but maybe pick something fun um, to do outdoors together, go bowling, try to find something that you guys can connect with and move forward from there. This next question is from Gina who says, I'm in my mid twenties and in a serious relationship. My BF and I are planning on moving in together in the coming months. While we both have goals for our careers, we also feel it's important to put our relationship first. I'm wondering how you managed to build a successful business while also nurturing a serious relationship that led to marriage. Were there challenges? Is it possible to have a healthy and successful relationship at the beginning of your career without compromising your personal career goals? In one word, yes. I definitely put all of my relationships in my life. Uh, I make them all a priority, whether it's with my husband or my friends or my family. I think that's really important for me. Um, obviously that depends on the career and the person as well, but I would say the challenges that we faced um, more were focused on the beginning of when I first started Cupcakes and Cashmere because I was working a nine to five coming home, having a quick dinner with Jeffrey, and then basically getting on my computer to blog into the wee hours of the night. So I think the challenges were really in the beginning when I was just trying to find that balance of time with dedicating to work towards dedicating to Jeffrey. So I think as long as you always make your relationship a priority, you're not gonna have a problem. Danielle asked, perfect timing. I just broke up with my long-term boyfriend. I guess the gruesome details aren't entirely necessary, but I'd love to know if you've ever experienced a serious breakup. And if so, how did you recover? So far, I've been doing a lot of Pilates, avoiding any alone time, and making fun plans for my future. Well, first of all, I'm so sorry to hear of your breakup. Um, there's pretty much nothing worse. And yes, I have certainly had my fair share. I would say I've had two really kind of bad breakups in my life. Um, and I think the most important thing is to pay attention to what really feels good for you. So if avoiding alone time is good for you, do that. Um, there are really no right answers. I became a yes person. That was kind of my thing so that if a friend invited me to a birthday party of someone I didn't know, yes, I will be there. If they wanted to go do karaoke, I will be there too. It really helped me feel like I had some control over my life and was trying new things, experiencing places, people that I wouldn't have normally met, and it ended up being a really positive experience. So look at this as something potentially great. Thanks again for tuning in to this week's episode of Ask Emily, and please make sure to keep on sending me your questions in the comments section on my blog and through social media with the hashtag AskEmily.